yeah, welcome to the Gamer Gents Duo Podcast no- numero Ooh. four, three, four. We should look this up next time. <laughs> yeah. I think it's number. I think it's four. Yeah, you're right. Um, we didn't do it last week because I was out of town visiting uh, that goon. Yeah, and um, Gabby and Jared and Ryan and Andrew. So I'm, yeah. I met slash re-met like a bunch of my internet friends, yeah. and it was awesome. It was crazy. But um, awesome. yeah, then I came back on – so I was gone that Sunday. I was at the uh, the Colts, and wow, I'm forgetting it all of a sudden. Indiana. No, Colts and – like who Indiana. was it? I think it was Texans. Yes. Yeah, Colts and Texans. Even game. I knew that. Yeah, I, I, don't, I forgot. I have I have a really bad memory though, to be completely totally honest. Were you Were you playing your Vita? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was watching it. It was a great game, but I just <laughs> freaking forgot who they were playing. But yeah, so uh, me and Ryan were there. AFC South champions it was awesome, but uh, then we came back. Uh, I went. I went. So. Okay, I'm just going to explain what all happened super fast because I explained it like two weeks ago when I said what was going to happen. Pretty much that happened. We left on – Ryan got here at thir- on Thursday, and we had tacos, Oscar's Tacos, best place ever. And then Friday morning we left, and we got there like Friday afternoon. We played Towerfall and stuff at Eric's house and saw Gabby and Jared and had Arnie's Pizza and like a freaking frozen yeah. yogurt place. And <laughs> Eric. Pink walrus. Oh, yeah. Is that what it's called? The Pink yeah, Walrus? Pink walrus. Yeah. Wow. That's such a frozen yogurt name. I'm <laughs> like, mm-hmm. legitimate. Oh, dude, I didn't even start the timer. Oh, well. But, uh, dude, explain about your pizza. What was wrong with it? <laughs> so, at, Pop, uh, uh, at Papa John's, I usually <laughs> order. <laughs> a p- 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 Papa John's, I usually get a, well, a custom. Hawaiian pizza, which is like pineapple and Canadian bacon or ham, and it just has regular pizza sauce, and it's good. It's good warm, and it's good cold. It's good with parmesan. It's good with everything, uh, besides applesauce. Um, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we we went at the Arnie's, and like, it's like a known place here in Lafayette where I live, and like. I ordered a Hawaiian pizza, and I was like, okay, awesome. They have a Hawaiian pizza. I love Hawaiian pizza. And it had barbecue sauce on it. And I was like, uh, what is this crap? Yeah. So he, he ordered a Hawaiian <laughs> pizza, and it had barbecue sauce on it in summer. Right? Yeah, I was like, I was like, I mean, dude, it's, which is funny because I mix my food like, yeah, all the time. it's true. And that was like the most disgusting thing ever. <laughs> Dang. Uh, Dang, mate. Dang. Dude, it's just... But, uh... Yeah. Then, uh, we played Tower Falls and a bit. Dude, and I then... wrecked. He did. Wrecked. We beat him a couple of times, but he he won the yeah. majority of the time. And then, th- on... And we went back... Me and Ryan went back to the hotel and chilled. And then on, um... How did that, how did that work out, by the way? Uh, that hotel sucked. Like, uh... Hotel sucked. Yeah, because of Wi-Fi. <laughs> sucked. Balls. No, not the Wi-Fi. The freaking TV. The TV was crap, mate. It was really? crap. Like they didn't have it. Like we on, on some TVs at hotels, you can like. Uh, we always bring our PS4 because we know at the Embassy Suites in Indianapolis we can hook up our uh, our TVs. Um, but so we were like, oh, maybe we can hook up our PS4 and watch Netflix or something. And then we tried. There's no HDMI port on the back. Like it looks like a regular. HGTV I just I think it's not it was like it didn't have any of the ports it didn't have and then freaking the channels were like crap quality like Nickelodeon oh, or Disney yeah. like normal channels had like freaking fuzz and crap and I'm like oh, yeah. what are we watching it was, it was it's, it felt like I was in the 90s but I thought you were talking about your Indianapolis one but <laughs> oh the one in Indianapolis had we actually got the internet to work at first, me and uh, Ryan got his, but my internet wouldn't work. But we got it eventually. But um, really? yeah, it it was weird. I, I don't know how. Like they, we didn't do anything special. I just tried again, and then it worked. I, mm. I don't know. But um, 
Yeah, Ryan played Destiny. I just watched YouTube videos. But um, <laughs> Saturday, we got up. Me and Ryan got up. We met them for lunch at. Um, oh, we were gonna go to Panda Express in the mall, but it was like ridiculously crowded. So we got Subway. Yeah, we got Subway and then like went and ate it in, in Panera, Panera Bread. Yeah, in Panera Bread. <laughs> was, it was the mall was insane because of Christmas shopping. Yeah, just, yeah, know, it was ridiculous. Stuff in just go to Amazon, Amazon <laughs> people. Mate. It's not that hard. But um, then we went to Gabby's house and or no Jared's house, mm-hmm. Jared's house, and then but we yeah, saw yeah. Gabby's house at some point in the yeah, day. Yeah, we after that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, then we went to Jared's house with Gabby's Wii U and played Smash and Mario Kart, and it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Smash and Mario Kart's legit. Yeah, that was Mario cool. Kart's fun. Mario Kart's awesome. I just want to yeah. toss that out there. Oh, but yeah. um, and then we on Saturday night we went down to uh, we went to Indianapolis and let Gabby and Jared and Eric drove us there. They all mm-hmm. drove. <laughs> one worked the brakes, <laughs> one worked the pedal, one worked the steering wheel. No, but um, we got there, and while we were driving through a crowd of people, um, uh, Jared hooked up his... Um, Actually, my his, phone. Yeah, Eric's phone to the speakers in the car. So we were playing stuff like... Really loud. And uh, Jared's favorite was... Fucker riding a pussy! That was Jared's favorite, right there. And he's just playing it, like, trying to get people to look with the windows rolled down. And almost no one looked. It was it was ridiculous. But this one lady was crossing the street. We played the wow really loud. And she was like... Wow. <laughs> but, but, yeah, it was, it, was, it was crazy. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, then the next that day we shit. went to... Um, oh, AJ's for dinner was what we Ooh. had on Saturday night. And it was really good. And we also went to... A pinball arcade with like all these retro. Yeah, that was that was interesting. Machines. It was it's crazy how much stuff was done in the past week. Um, then we went to uh, on please. Sunday morning. Me and Ryan went to the game, drove back. Monday morning, Ryan went to Olin Rogers shop to and he got a shirt or a hoodie or whatever, and it was awesome. And then drove back down. <coughs> oh gosh, um, drove Ryan? back down to Montgomery. Um, we hooked. My monitor and PS4 right next to his monitor and PS4, like, he has a table, and it was like this, only they were facing, like, outwards, you know, like that. To, like, opposite sides. Yeah, so we were, like, chilling, we played Destiny, we played Crucible a bunch, and then the next day, Andrew came over, and we played a decent amount, and then we went and saw The Hobbit, which was awesome, and then drove back the next day, went to Zaxby's, saw all my coworkers, my former coworkers, and then I came back, and I got back on Destiny. Gosh dang, that was that took longer than I expected, but a lot of crap happened. Lots yep. of stuff, but uh, yeah, I got back on Destiny: The Dark Below. Gosh. Oh yeah, welcome uh, to you know Gamers Just Duo podcast. By yeah, the way, yeah, the yeah, entertainment yeah. podcast. We talk about games normally, normally sometimes. <laughs> You should leave like timestamps in case anyone just want like. Yeah, <laughs> nah, they gotta listen to it, but uh. <laughs> We gotta listen to our crap. Um, mo- mostly, mostly, I did it again, dude. I mixed mainly well, and mostly. I just did it again. <laughs> Didn't I do that last week on this podcast? Yeah, oh my gosh, two weeks ago. But <laughs> gosh dang it, mainly crap. Um, but uh, stuff. Speaking of in the last week, more crap has gotten done on Destiny. Yeah. There, we did so much stuff. Like, we'll talk about the, that in a bit, but let's just say in yeah. general, what have we been playing? <laughs> Which I think we all know the answer to. Um, for me, in the past week, Destiny, I started South Park, The Stick of Truth, Truth yesterday. Yeah. That's kind of it. I downloaded The Crew with and Ubisoft. You, you have been playing... Thing, um, but I didn't play Titan Tech. Yeah, I played Titan Attack on the Vita a lot on the trip, and that game is awesome. The game's seriously awesome. But, oh man, like the one thing, one of the things I asked for for Christmas was a PlayStation TV, 
Like, I'd love to continue playing Titan Attack, but I just feel weird, like, sitting at my... Sitting with, like, dual monitors and a high-end PC and a PS4 and just, like, playing my Vita at, at a desk. So, <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I can get that and I can continue that. I have almost all the trophies. I just got really lucky once, and I just blew through the whole game. Like, wow. I was stuck on the moon. I was stuck on the moon. Yeah, I was stuck on the moon for, like, ever. And then I just got really lucky, and I was like... I just beat the moon, and from there on, it was just freaking. It was over. It was <laughs> over. But um. Kill the okay. wizard from the moon. <laughs> yes, yes, of course I had to kill him. <laughs> the 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 guy piloting the boss ship is just secretly a wizard. Is, yeah. yeah, but yeah. I think Eric's mainly been playing Destiny. If yeah, I were to guess. I've been like going hard at it. I just got my Titan at thirty today. We've all been. And gosh dang. All I need right now is like what that like, new exotic helm. The, no, the but, is that what I you want? The glass house. New, okay. I would love to get a saint or a glass house. Or the glass house actually has a really glass. awesome effect that I didn't know about until like really recently. Do, do you know what the glass house does, it. mate? No. Freaking! It extends your weapon of light duration. I'm not sure if that means oh. the duration of the ward or the duration that you have the perk when you leave the ward. I'm. I'm sure I'm it's yeah. probably that but uh yeah, yeah it extends it from yeah, like 10 cool. seconds to 15 seconds which is dude that'd be yeah, so good still pretty cool yeah Imagine it's... black hammers a full fire team black hammers and you have glass house on yeah <laughs> but yeah you got that and then you got the um you got the saint 14 which binds people when they enter the freaking defender ward but um be so op on like uh you know that's two exotics exotic helms that are really focused on the ward mm -hmm. there's none that's really focused on the on the fist of havoc surprisingly or not surprisingly yeah i don't know there's still plenty of time though plenty of time was a cool but what if they made a helmet or, or a piece that or like boots for a uh, titan where you like do a super jump into the uh, air, and then you can aim for like a split second where you want to like <laughs> slam down. See, I don't know. That's a little bit too game changing. That's a little I mean, bit too. But you can already do that with a. Uh... Yeah, I'm imagining smite like Thor mechanics. So when you mention that, I'm imagining like yeah, everything stops. You're up in the air and you're just like okay, right there. And you just, like that's that's I don't know. That's a little too game changing. Other than like. You know, your weapons of light last five seconds longer. <laughs> but it, it would be awesome. <laughs> it would definitely yeah. be cool. Well, what if you could uh, go, like, point in a certain direction, like, kind of like a Superman jump, but then go straight down from where you, like, you don't have a directional thing. Maybe that would kind of even it out. It's kind of what know. is already a thing. Yeah. But, um... That's if you have, like, a sprint <laughs> and jump thing. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. But, oh. I mean, you can go straight down. You just jump high up yeah. and then just go straight down. I don't know. But I, I think I know what you're process. saying. You're, like, imagining a different animation and such. I, I, want, I want, a, a, like, a super jump. I mean, I just think that would be cool. Hmm. I don't know. I'm already, I'm already basically Superman with the death from above thing. Like, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm I mean, fine with that. that I love we, death from above. When we were doing, um... Uh, the Nexus Strike, I was saved my super for the end, so I could mm -hmm. just go in and do the Death from Above Did thing. you? And yeah. did you kill it with I, it? Oh, dang. No, I, I was oh. planning on it, but I was like, eh, ah, whatever. But oh. what I did, I was just doing it as a celebration, so I just jumped up yeah. towards the middle, and I hit the Nexus. <laughs> not, not the mind, but wow. like the boss. I didn't hit the boss, but I hit the Nexus, the spinning thing yeah. in the middle. And wow. I, I hit it, and then it sent me straight down, so I was like, Fisting like straight down. You were fisting. You were yes. fisting really, really hard. Apparently, is that yeah. what I'm hearing? <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, dude, freaking, I don't know. That I'm. Sh there's so much time left in that game. Gosh dang it. Okay, mm -hmm. let's let's talk about Destiny later. There's still a lot of crap that has happened in the past like two weeks that we didn't cover because we were gone and stuff. Um, dude, I have one, I have one, oh my gosh, this looks really weird. I'm, I swear, I'm just holding on to the bars up here. Like, look, I'm just holding on to them. But, <laughs> the way it looks at the camera is like, 
I don't know. <laughs> but um, the I have a story about DayZ that actually has, like, updates ever. Like, I put the story in, like, a week ago, and now it even has updates that's not on it. I just remember stuff. <laughs> So, okay, I just wanted to mention Daisy because, okay, let me let me read this and refresh myself real quick. Okay, yeah, I think, personally, what's the guy's name who develops Daisy? He's like, uh... Bob. That's... Oh, well, wait. Disgusting. Uh, TLDR, it's, um... What was it? Uh, it's not as, uh, what we expected. What was it? Is it disappointing? Yeah, there you go. This point, but that is not just the TLDR. The TLDR yeah. is that the person who develops Daisy is a horrible person. Like he's yeah. a, he's a crappy person. Um, I really want to know his name. <clears throat> Money. What? Uh, yeah, but he could have. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. Um, I'm typing guy who developed <laughs> Daisy into Google. Daisy <laughs> mod. Okay, his name is Dean Hall. I'm pretty sure that sounds very familiar. Yeah. Well, yeah, guy from. Guy from them people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Daisy. 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 Dean Hall. Okay, what he did, I don't know if this was him directly, but at the time he was in charge of Daisy and all that. So he freaking. At the beginning of the Steam sale, like a day before. He raised the price of DayZ so that in the Steam sale he can sell it for the original price. The early access game, might I mention, that's not done any way, shape, or form. When was this? Uh, it was either the... Yeah, it was, this, it was the holiday sale. Yeah. That's evil. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, if you read my paragraph here, it's so freaking, like, I am, I am like, freaking seething. Because, like, that's... It, I'm freaking angry it's very That's upsetting horrible. yeah it, it's crappy but okay then there's some more details about daisy that the guy released um i i'm gonna read the first sentence it says my biggest disappointment in gaming is daisy daisy in parentheses which is still in the alpha in all caps state raised its price right before steam sale so that it could be on sale for the original price um yeah it, i hate i hate so much what that guy did he earned so much money from that early access he could have hired a full freaking triple a team you could have complete it in months <laughs> months but they didn't they, they, he was just like oh just uh. six people i looked this up let me no 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 hold on yeah six people are working on that game that has made more money than most most games out there right now true six people he spent all his money on freaking drugs and hookers. Uh, like, that must be it. Probably. I don't know. Must no, I don't want to assume, what, but like, I'm just saying. What? Where? Where? where what is he going to do with this money? Like, <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I think he's spending it all on, on himself. Because, I mean, what would you... Why this would you not he, hire a full why, team? Uh, this is why people, a lot of people are impartial to the whole uh, early access thing. Some people are I just kind of into am. money grab. Yeah. Um, like, okay, for games like uh, Starbound, it, yeah. it's worked out well for. There are good examples of early access, but the, the yeah. fact of the matter is most Steam games, if you go on Steam and get an early access game, it's crap. It's super buggy. You are paying to play test that game. And, I mean, if you want to do yeah. that, go ahead, but I don't want to do that anymore. I'm done. I'm, I'm just going to buy fully I released games. I honestly think that Steam should change their policies. They did. So they, they did. They that need, is they not on my least, list, though. Gosh dang it. You need to have base mechanics or, like, functioning Dude, you're like, like yeah. mechanics. You're, like, reading off their list. Steam policies on early access. This is here. Good thing you said this, because it wasn't on my list of what to talk about. Um... Valve adds... Oh, snap, here it is. Okay. Like, seriously, I want to be able to shoot someone accurately. I need to be able to use the menus accurately yeah. and know what I'm doing. Okay. And then you can start adding stuff. Boom! Um, like quests. Here is a bunch of big changes. It's like in bold of 
stuff that they are changing their policies. Steam has changed their policies for early access games. Don't launch an early... Don't launch... It says in early access. Yeah, don't launch in early access if you can't afford to develop with very few or no sales. So don't launch a game unless you can complete it. Don't launch a game as early access and expect people to be like, oh, it's so great, here, have my money. Because that's... Well, first of all, that's not going to happen. But, uh... It's dumb. Um, make sure you set expectations properly everywhere you talk about your game. Interesting. Um, don't launch in early access without a playable game. Yep. That's, that's a big thing. Uh, <clears> but the thing first. is, lots of that... Yeah, lots of games are not playable that are early access. Don't launch in early access if you are done with development. That's kind of... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect example that I have, not of like a bad example, but a good example of a good early access game was Starbound. When I first bought it, it it was in very very early stages, but I could I can get I can get on it. I can make it built. I can make houses. I can roam planets. I can do all the base mechanics, and it worked perfectly. No. And from now on, they've been <laughs> adding more and more stuff and changing combat mechanics and everything. Yeah, my favorite beta was good. Destiny. Like. Oh yeah. The I played Destiny the alpha, beta was, and it was excellent. Yeah, it was Dude, the alpha was yeah. like just exactly like the base game. I I mean I don't understand like I don't know, I don't know. But uh yeah, I just wanted to point out how um how crappy Daisy is. Um oh no, the this is more information about Daisy, the beta. Okay, th first of all, this game. If I'm not alpha, correct, like, Daisy years. was the mod itself was released in. 2012, I'm fairly sure. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the game itself was supposed to release in 2013. I might be wrong, but that's what I think are the facts. That's what I think. I can't fact check right now. But, um, yeah. The, so, okay. Keep that in mind. The game was originally supposed to launch in 2013. Maybe 2014. Beta will be in the end of 2015. Okay, I have it right here. Beta will be in the end of 2015 when it was supposed to launch in the end of 2014. So it's supposed to be out now. Yeah. Right? Um, and the beta itself will cost $45. The final version of the game is supposed to be in the first half of 2016 and will cost $50. And then I also have here. $20 million at the least and $30 million at the most is how much money this game made. 20 $30 million. Yeah. Probably more, to be honest. Yeah, that's enough to hire more than six people. Uh, just just yeah. tossing that out there. You could, you, could hire, you could hire a small team of very skilled people, like maybe 20 people, and get it done. Yeah. It, uh, I can't freaking makes me upset because i was so excited for it it's buggy it doesn't work it's and it's a death match it's yeah it's a death match that's what it is i would have much rather paid for a release game if i had heard about the early access if they had spent if he had spent all the money that he made from the mod in the early access game and the whatever if he had spent all that money to like release it and have it be a really good game then it would have like i would pay for it because it'd be a release game but now mm -hmm. if he if he releases the game like i'm probably not even gonna open it just out of spite like i i still have the early access but i'm probably not yeah. gonna open it i might one day but it's like i don't know i don't know i Northern. yeah and the the other bit of news about him that I didn't have on here, but I remembered, was that Dean Hall himself went to, um, he has started his own studio called Rocket Studios in New Zealand. He has left Daisy and left it in yeah. the capable hands of five people and uh, left it there. Um, I may be wrong about the six people thing, but I got it off their Tumblr. Like, I was on the Daisy dev Tumblr, and on the, the side, it was, like, developers or people working on it or whatever, and there were six names. So, I that's where I got that from. But, um, I couldn't find any anywhere else that gave me the, the info more than that. But, either way, even if it was 20, 50, he could have hired more with all that money. 
But, um, yeah, so he has left. He said that he was going to leave the company when the project no longer needed him, which apparently is now. He's gone. Um, his statement Maybe about his sound. Yeah. And what he announced it on tw- what he announced on Twitter was the fact like he announced it on Twitter. He said, um, Rocky Studios is looking for developers, blah, 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 and all this. And he said that it, he wanted to create a valve in the South, whatever, uh, New Zealand area, um, that doesn't focus on making steam. So I'm pretty sure he's just saying he wants to make very high end games. Okay. It's a, it's a good talk. Yeah. But from your previous experience, I'm probably not going to buy them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, that's all about Daisy. Yeah, that's it was all. disappointing and cheap. Yeah, it, it is dumb. So much about that. Um, oh, mate, you still you still have stuff on here. What do you want to yeah. talk about? <laughs> uh, I'm like caressing the monitor. I kind of want to talk about my, uh, but the time I, I played a uh, a spinoff of Minecraft. Before this is before, I actually played Minecraft. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I did not it, know it's this. Actually, an entertaining story. Okay, so um, you found like some. Was okay. it Roblox? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, better actually. Um. On Xbox Live in the arcade. Oh, uh, snap. I might know what this is. Go ahead. I uh, had a friend who game, played something. This game was freaking awesome. It had bare bones, like, stuff on it. But it's just, it was just charming and simple. And all of my friends could get it. And there was no Minecraft because it was only on PC. It was, like, 2012. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's called Total Miner, For- Total Miner Forge. And... This may um, not be the game that I would think was... There are probably many Minecraft copies, so. Oh well, yeah, there is. There's Total thousands. Miner Ford, four or Forge. Forge, yes. I'm googling it. Um, like, but the thing it about it that different. was so awesome is that it had currency and a store. Yeah. And you could buy and sell, and the way you made money was cutting down trees, making them into doors, and then selling them in the store. That's kind of cool. Then, Not even gonna lie. After you did that, you would buy, you would buy and make better pickaxes and go out and find blueprints to uh to actually make items you had to find blueprints in the world so pretty much you would gather your friends go digging there you would have a little blue uh arrow and you would go and find blueprints so you could actually make these better pickaxes yeah and when you find the titanium pickaxe you're like yeah because it's the best thing to get <laughs> that's awesome and then you go this back to the surface like. you go back to the surface and then after you get the time titanium pickaxe you're pretty much the richest person on the world <laughs> you go and Beat each again. piece you go back down into the deep like okay in, you know how in minecraft there's like what 500 block what how many blocks is it what downwards downwards uh like it's like 200 or something yeah so, something like that 240 something like yeah. that that sounds um, about right on total my forge it was around a thousand two thousand yeah and there was also purgatory and then hell <laughs> So four thousand blocks, dang thick, and once you get down there, you uh, you mine titanium, and each piece of titanium is worth like all the money in the game. So pretty much, you would find it, and you'd be like, "We struck gold, guys!" And then <laughs> go, to the, go to the store and sell it. Dang. Then you had to make you would have to make we made a skyscraper with chests in it. This sounds so gold. similar to Minecraft, full but like gold. different at the same time. <laughs> Dang, just yeah, of gold. So, ba- and, um, oh, was it made, made of gold or was it like no. chests? A skyscraper made of titanium. Oh, okay. With uh, chests of gold. Had chests of gold, <laughs> so we were pretty much Pips. sitting on gold. Yeah, the idea of that game was pretty much to get most gold you can. So yeah. it was fun. But... That that sounds so similar to Minecraft, but like the whole shop thing is quite mm-hmm. different it changes it a lot yeah I, I, I... yeah and it's the blueprints an... too i like the blueprints yeah that's cool that's definitely cool was it like random or did you have to go to like specific yeah, places it's or... random huh. uh you go into a cave uh you put them some torches and you look around uh dude 
I need like get on my Xbox and look at some of my like uh, <laughs> worlds. Dang. Man. All right then. It's a nice little story about uh, yeah. about a game Minecraft that is so kind much. of Minecraft, but sort of not. Yeah. I my freaking my friend Jacob played this game on uh, Xbox, and he was like, Minecraft is stupid. Uh, is it called Fortress Crash? Ah, uh, maybe. That actually sounds. I played that like too. It's like it. it's like it's really dumb. It, it is. It looks it looked it's, a lot better than Total, Total Runner, but what all you did was flood everything and then lag your game out and then crash. <laughs> That's a great description you, of the okay, game. What you could on that game, you can get like a block, a water block, put it on like a like make it spire of dirt, put a water block on it, and it it doesn't like fall downwards. It goes outwards and floods your whole world. Oh. So pretty much think of um, when God flooded the earth. <laughs> Noah, <laughs> Noah's Ark all yep, over again. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, it's a simple yeah, I think that was it, to be completely honest. Like, I went over to his house and he was playing it. I was like, what are you playing? And th he used to think Minecraft was, like, this is so stupid. I was like, what are you playing? He was like, oh, this is game. It's kind of like a Minecraft copy, I think. I don't know. But Minecraft's stupid. And he was playing it, and I was like, this looks like crap. Like, the art looks so dumb. I, I don't I don't know. It was it was bad. Uh, but um, he eventually caved and got Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But... I'm actually trying to find pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's... Okay. Did they have guns? Uh, yes. Yes. Ah, no. That's actually on Steam now. Really? Surprisingly. That's oh. called, um... I played that one, too. <laughs> That's surprising enough. But it's called, um... My... Um, it's, it's a zombie game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a zombie version, and there's a regular version, where you could just build yeah. and stuff. So, uh, the Steam Holiday Sale is happening right now. It has happened. It has started. And <laughs> it will be happening until January 2nd. I am actually sort of excited only for a couple of things. Goat Simulator. <laughs> Gosh. That's it, actually. Now that I think about it. That's it. Oh, snap. Well, no, don't don't open that. That's a YouTube link. <laughs> Why did you post a thing about Destiny Ingrams? <laughs> what the heck? What the I opened it because I thought it was... That's uh, old. Yeah, I thought old. it was the Fortress Craft or whatever. Isn't that like clipboard? <laughs> That's great. But <clears throat> yeah, the Steam holiday sale is happening right now, so get on that. I yeah, dude. Be sure to kill your wallet. I can't buy anything because headset. <clears throat> yeah, his headset broke, so he has to buy a new one. Yeah, I mean, look at this crap. Uh, I'll try to show it. Yeah, the viewers, this thing is completely broken. I can spin it around. It, there's a cord. Yeah. yeah. You can kind of see it. My cord. But uh. Let's see. I'll buy a new set tomorrow. I'm trying to open the chat again, and it's not coming up. Oh well. Um. Yeah, I know what the game looks like. People, people have probably played it. Yeah, I, I play. You shoot zombies, and they keep spawning. It's the dumbest thing ever. You die, and you lose all your stuff. And yeah. GG. But um. Yeah. So Steam Holiday Sale. Get on that. There. So the freaking. There's actually a lot of crap. Let's let's speed through a couple of this. Um, Ubisoft, this is a quick one. Ubisoft followed through on their thing about um, giving people who had the season pass of Assassin's Creed Unity a free game. That and they were like more details in the days to come or in a in a couple of days or something. And then it took like forever to actually happen. It took like two or three weeks, but they did follow through. I have the crew. It worked. Like, I have it on the... Like, the awesome. program worked. I downloaded it, and it's there. So, uh, yeah, GG. I need, to, I need to get Unity um, Season Pass. Uh, no, because it's free for you now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I need to download oh, it. Oh, you need to download it? Okay. Yeah. Um, I definitely. To, I, to play it. I, haven't, I've, I haven't touched that game. I feel like I neglected yeah. it. But Destiny. <laughs> yeah, freaking Destiny, man. I'm so happy. So... We have a while to go. At the end, we can speed through uh, the rest of this. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll speed through the rest of this at the end. Let's, this is kind of a Destiny podcast. We talk about it almost every time. Yeah. But um, for, like, 
more than half the show usually. I mean, yeah, I bet those Destiny haters would be, they see this and they're like, <laughs> like <"Do> this. <laughs> yeah, but there are some people who are dedicated to Destiny. It there, yeah. it, there are. You just gotta find them. People but, who um, enjoy the grind. Oh man, love this game so much, dude. Okay, I told I told Eric last night. I w- I finally okay. So this is so okay. Oh man. So everyone knows the Vex Mythic class. It's what you get. Uh, mm. it's kind of like it was basically like the best gun that dropped in, or one of it's the best still guns. Really good. It drops it's in. Good. The hard raid of uh, the hard version of um, the Vault of Glass at Atheon. So, um, which me and Eric actually got, by the way, recently. It's awesome. Yep, but it's yeah. So there's the there's the Vexmith class, and in Crota's End, the hard version of Crota's End, the equivalent to that is going to be Necrochasm, an exotic auto rifle. That is um, what? But what you do is it's not just a random drop. It's just Basically, you um, you have to go. You have to kill a blade of Crota, and I don't fully know how it works. I don't think it's you kill a certain amount. I think it's just random. Like, it's killing random. blades of Crota drops this gun sometimes. So what you do is, at, like, there's this mission called Fist of Crota, and you can, like, speed past this... Uh, all these enemies go in there's a blade right there and you just keep i did that for like two hours last yeah. night and finally once i had gotten off and i was like i'm gonna go to bed in like 10 minutes and then i finally dropped it i was like, yes but uh so i got the husk it's called the husk of the pit it's a regular regular it's a common, yeah it's a common white does like 184 damage and it blows yeah it's kind of um, crap yeah. <laughs> it's kind of crap right now unless you're a hunter and you have stability perks yeah i don't know interesting but um yeah you you have that and it's you have to kill to upgrade it the only way to upgrade it is to kill hive so yeah 500 i think it's a random number dude people have been reporting 300 400 500 yeah well i killed 500 yeah but um, i I killed 500 and it only got me halfway last night actually (laughs) i killed 500 for the bounty and it only got me halfway interesting yeah well, but um, um yeah yeah so you upgrade good. it by doing that you you kill a certain amount of hive you kill a bunch of hive and with that gun Actually upgraded, though. yeah the way you up you, you then, legendary. Yeah, yeah. The, you then take it to eris and buy an embalming orb with like i think like seven five 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 uh black wax Wait, idols three. Wait, yeah three eris morn yeah, oh yeah, you have to be Crota's Bane rank 3, which I'm sort of close to. I'm like halfway through too. But um, then you buy the embalming orb and it changes. Ally. Yeah. It, does it change to rare first or just to legendary? No. legendary it goes to legendary. Exotic. Yeah, so it changes to legendary and then when you... Apparently you get something that upgrades it in the hard raid... And then you defeat Crota, and it gives you uh, this orb thing. Yeah, you get you get something that upgrades it, and it uh, it turns it into the Necrochasm. So I've been working on that. Um, I'm gonna, mm, I might do that afterwards. This, but the thing is, is that there is so much crap to do. Yeah. In Destiny, like that... I want to do my three characters, yeah. but like I still have a bunch of stuff to do on my main character. So mm. I. I just don't know what to do, man. I just don't know oh, what to do. This makes me wonder, can you can you get multiple necrochasms? I mean I would I would think so. Maybe. Like maybe you farm more husk of the pits and then... I'm never going to do that. <laughs> it's well, possible yeah. pr- it's probably possible. Find other characters, I'm, yeah. No. I'm sure. I'm that, not going to. Same character. Oh oh well. Hmm. I don't know. But I'm happy with what I have. I'm, I'm not curious, doing but, that yeah. again took like two hours of just killing it over and over and like you know destiny has no audio options so like i would boot it up and it would (laughs) say the same dialogue and the same music and the same pattern every time that's why you play music through your speakers i mean i was watching other stuff and i was i think i was watching uh parks and rec oh yeah Yeah. um (laughs) we said what we've been playing oh this is (laughs) freaking freaking 40 minutes into the podcast (laughs) we're doing our introductions (laughs) that's great um, 
I we've been watching basically nothing. Rick, almost Rick. everything's gone. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I've been watching that because it's something that you can watch on the side while you do other stuff. So I've been it's watching. It's entertaining. That. And... The only thing that really bugs me about that show is freaking how glossy everyone flips is. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I noticed Seriously. that. I noticed that. The Freaking makeup Leslie's... is more hardcore Leslie's. in that like, show. I mean, I don't mind it. It's just Leslie's lips. Why? Yeah, yeah it's, it's <laughs> always glossy. It's legit. But, um, yeah, one thing that I was thinking, that show compared to The Office, The Office is way more realistic than all the characters. I feel like in The Office, they probably did something. But I feel like they literally just put them in their clothes and were like, hey, go. Dress like you would <laughs> normally dress if you were going to an office. Yeah, you know? and they just did yeah. it. But um, that's, they probably didn't do that. They probably did stuff. But that's the way it looks. But uh, this show, uh, they, they look all yeah. very, very nice. Even Parts like when they're the, trying to look yeah. bad, like Andy, he still looks like, you know, yeah. manicured to be all dirty and stuff. But <laughs> the, the episode was just on freaking uh, Andy walks into um, Anne's house naked. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, hey. Hey. You're like, oh, are you he's like, oh, gosh. Yeah, it's great. I love Andy. He's he's like one of my favorites. He's great. Chris Pratt. But uh, Pratt, uh, that, Arrow's on mid-season break. Flash is on, oh, my gosh. I can't wait for that. I haven't really gone. thought about that in a while. I can't wait for that to come back. <laughs> Arrow and the Flash. It's walking, walking Dead. Yeah, Arrow, that's true. Flash. Doctor Who's on a break. 100. Doctor Who. It's all gone. Yeah, it all just left I us. I, I haven't watched. I watched one episode Cora of. Ended. Oh yeah, Cora is gone. Forget Cora dead. Ended. Dead. 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 Oh, they all <laughs> died in the finale. Apparently, <laughs> are you? Did you see yeah, a different some, version some than some me? I'm not sure. Held, some people held hands and then everyone died. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Wow. Um. That's that's really gruesome, mate. That's that's yeah. messed up. Yeah. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> the internet exploded, though. I'll say that. Yeah. It's, yeah. It was, yeah. It was a thing. It's it's crazy. It was a good finale though. It was definitely. A it good was finale. very good. Best one of 2014. I refuse. Like only, I disagree. It's the only finale we've seen. <laughs> Video game high school, mate. Number two finale okay. of all time. Gosh dang, that finale was awesome. <laughs> there were so many that satisfying good, yeah. moments in that. Like just how it all played out. Like freaking Key used her fighting to take down her nemesis. Like her fighting, which was from season one. And freaking, like, Jenny used her sniping. Freaking yeah. Brian used the pistol. Oh, and two laws was great. Yeah, it was just great. It was great. The only thing I, that could have... I honestly think he was my favorite. Yeah, um, the only thing that could have made that better would be if, uh... If, um... Shotbot was somehow in the finale uh-huh. fight. <laughs> just freaking blast He's like, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. But where do, where I, do go? I go? What do I what do? What do I do? <laughs> I, I love that show. It's great. Yeah. But um, great stuff. Honestly, other than that, what of about what we've been watching? I have no idea. It's kind of everything dead. Yeah, it's all. It's all. I mean, I haven't. I've, I've only watched one episode of American Horror Story. Yeah, Constantine's still going right now. Constantine's good. Constantine is good. No, it's it's gone too. Oh, it's gone. To, for now, yeah. it's it's gone on a break yeah. again. Yeah. Wow. But it's getting moved to. Well, Andrew said this. It's getting moved to, uh, like nine, ten. Yeah, it's getting moved. No, I, no, I think it might eight, have even been eight, seven. Yeah, eight instead of ten. That's what. Yeah. It yeah, it's the so eight, seven good. central time slot, which is like precious, which is good. Mm-hmm. But um. Well, on a Friday. Yeah. Okay. Now that we've gotten over the thing that we were supposed to do at the beginning. <laughs> we're, we're, getting, we're getting through our topics. We're yeah, let's, get back, let's get back to Destiny. I just want to I just want to point out that last night when I was playing like I was like it was a little bit meticulous and I was grinding, but like I I literally sent Eric a message on Facebook that was like, "Dude, sometimes I just want to play Destiny until my eyes bleed." Like yeah. I just I was sitting here watching something and or I think even at one point I just started listening to music with the lights off and I was just like going through the temple in a free roam just like I've got to kill Hive. I've just got to kill them all. I got to upgrade this gun. And I just I was I was so zoned in. I was like I don't want to go to sleep, but it's like I'm going to get like 5 hours of sleep. I I just 
Let me ask you this. Have I had to like been... press the button to turn it off. I had to like force myself. <laughs> have you ever been playing Destiny and then you're like, um, you're like doing, you're trying to do stuff and then you're just kind of killing stuff. You don't even realize it until like an Not hour really. later and you're just like, oh, I should really. <laughs> Well, you're just running around the tower sometimes just for like five minutes. You're like, I didn't need it. Let's go. Nah, man. Dude, get on a different character. I'm efficient. <laughs> I've like tried to. I started. I did that like in the I beta. But like on. Uh, in Destiny, I've made sure. Like when everyone's ready, we go to freaking orbit. We got crap to do. We got to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got so much actually, crap to do. I actually have my warlock right there. I made it. <laughs> I'm actually uh, been playing this whole time. No, <laughs> no I, I, ha I haven't been playing. Oh, but, like, you, you're making I made your warlock. I just got to the tower before we started the podcast. Okay, He's nice. just been sitting here looking in the same spot for an hour. <laughs> what is he, mate? Um, He's a black guy with white hair. All right. Sounds cool. Warlock. Sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah, sounds cool. I like it. I like it. Human. Of, of of course, yeah. When you said I black guy, I didn't guy. think robot. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I oh my gosh. I have I Quarter finally Zen. today got my warlock to the ability to be level thirty one. Oh yeah. Like he has all the gears. You can upgrade. Just, like, upgrade it. So I might work on my hunter mm. now. <laughs> today was today and yesterday was just like the worst time ever. I was low on plasteel plating. I'm gonna so be low on hydraulic essence. I, I lowered myself to the to the level of engram farming, and oh, I. What does that even I, entail I nowadays? I wait, have no idea. You know the rocket yards when you go on yes. to uh, uh, Devil's Lair. Um, there's like a crane in the middle. You stand on it, and there's like hive that spawn on the door, and they're falling on the other side, and they're fighting each other usually. Um, is this like another loot cave? Yeah. Wait, so do you just do kill all kill of them, them and around, then do you have to do around. something to set it? No, you just stand there because you're high you're high enough out of the bounds, so they just keep spawning. You've gotta freaking show me this sometime. Because I, I'm gonna have to do this really soon. Mine wasn't as efficient because I just I was impatient. Yeah. But um, it worked. Uh the guy who made the video he was getting like forty in an hour or something. Hmm. I'm gonna. I really am gonna have to do that though because like, I need. It's uh... so like insanely annoying because I only need tw I need fifty, uh, and then that would unlock the threshold of me getting my stuff to th my stuff to max. So yeah. I finally got thirty to on my Titan today. It's good. Nice. Cause we're, and we're gonna do the hard raid after this. Yeah, sadly, that'll be fun doing it with complete strangers. It'll be real great. <laughs> Us with a yeah. group. Two with a group, because... Uh, I mean, that stranger we met last night was uh, pretty good. Yeah, it was alright. It was alright. But, uh, yeah, we'll do that after this. But after that, I might actually work on my hunter, because, like, I, I don't know. I should, like, get get all of them to the ability to be 31 and whatnot, and then every day I can just do bounties on each three of them, you know? You know? So it's just bounties... Hard. And nightfalls. Yeah. Well, not nightfalls Three until chances. he's thirty. But oh, yeah. But yeah, definitely. That'd be. Oh my gosh. You're gonna have. Can't wait to have all to get... the strange coins. Oh yes. But oh. Uh, man, okay. That that that's enough about destiny. Oh no, I'm just gonna point this out again. As so oh yeah, freaking so, oh yeah, that's not even him. what I was gonna was point out. Day. Yeah, we killed we killed Crota. Hunger, Crota's hunger, hunger of Crota. I got Light of the Abyss. Someone got Black Hammer, Andrew, and Ryan. And did, Ryan, yeah. That thing is OP. Ryan got the I ship too. <laughs> yeah, he got the ship. But uh, yeah, it was freaking it was awesome. awesome. I we killed sword him. Bearer. I killed him. Flash, flash. <laughs> yeah, there's a video on my channel about it. It's the one before this. Yeah. Go to videos. It's probably down there. No, don't do that. I don't want to edit. Do it. No. Yes. Gosh dang it, just go to videos, you lazy person. <laughs> no, I mean like, no, I meant like your uh, highlight of us killing him. Yeah, I know. I know, that's why I was like, don't do that. I don't want to put it in in editing and annotations. Why would you do No, I meant like, no, no, not in, just in the description. Oh, okay, yeah, I can put it in the description. Okay, yeah, yeah it's in the description. It's <laughs> yeah, I'm there. sorry that I don't have time to edit things. I got, 
Like I gotta level up my hunter. You know, I hope you understand. <laughs> you should understand. Yeah. But um. Yeah, we killed Crota. There's a video of us awesome. doing it. it Great raid, fun. short but good. Uh, Plus, we did skip it, area. Yeah, we skipped like two. To, we cheesed one area and skipped another, so it's not a short raid. The hardest part is honestly what we skipped. But uh, the area wizard. Yeah, we skipped the wizard singing. We don't want to hear that crap. <laughs> She's <laughs> never gonna make it in Hollywood. But uh, yeah, freaking. That's a good. Oh no no no! That's the one more thing that I wanted to mention. Crota's awesome. The, it's a fun raid. I can't wait to do it again. But um, uh, me, you. As soon as Andrew gets back, Eric, we need to we need to have a night where we just freaking play skirmish with our Vex Mythic class, and we get the ticket into that Trial of Osiris thing, because that would be freaking yeah. awesome to do that. We have need you to do used that. your correct measure in PvP yet? Uh, no, I have not yet. I have That's not yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll just be like any other uh, legendary uh -huh. LMG. The impact is insane. I mean, I'll try it. If if you are correct, then you get a high five from uh, Rick Grimes here. But uh, if you are incorrect, <laughs> then you get a you get a knifing. <laughs> I see. Get a knife. <laughs> no, is he not gonna bite my neck off? <laughs> no, I mean he's he's a very, he's a more peaceful Rick. I mean, look at oh. his eyebrows though; he's very upset. Yeah, he's very upset. Very um. He's ready for he's anything. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't know. I saw those at FYE. <laughs> yeah. So um, Ryan's family got that as like a going away oh. gift, I guess. Oh. But, yeah, they got me that and uh, Daryl, but. <laughs> Nice. I just have one out, so Daryl's in a box, sadly. But uh, <laughs> Daryl's in a box. Daryl's in a box. <laughs> Daryl is in a box. In the show. That's where they left it. It was a big yeah. cliffhanger. No. <laughs> I can't get out of this box. Somebody help me. And it's just like a really where small is even Darryl? cardboard box. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone died. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone died. Yep. That's how it always ends in every show, apparently. Well, people died, but yeah. 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 Or but like... uh yeah so we need to do the trial we need to try and get into the trial of osiris Sorry, and just uh, freaking nike it you know what i'm saying yeah. get all those <clears throat> get all those exotics it'll be great nike. so nike. we're coming like 10 minutes up to, gosh dang it we're coming up to like 10 minutes of the uh time um like 10 minutes before we're gonna end or uh is there anything a little bit shorter so let's cover the last stuff because this is actual okay. news <laughs> um the interview i feel like you would have some sort of strong opinion yes, on this so I i'm did. actually gonna let you just go okay um <laughs> i haven't like really formed a full opinion so this is pretty much me forming it right now um yeah what's that's funny oh nothing <laughs> I thought you. I just thought it was funny. You're like, because I'm pretty much forming it right now. <laughs> I was yeah, just like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. But then yeah. you stopped, and I thought you were like, yeah, I don't have an opinion. Uh, I thought that's. <laughs> what you, I thought that you were like, I'm forming it right now. <laughs> right now. Nothing. I have no opinion. Yeah. I um, was like, I was confused. No, uh, but anyway. Uh, pretty much, <laughs> I think it's dumb that Sony did that. They should move on. They should move on and go ahead and put it out. If people are worried about um, uh, the employees of theaters being uh, hurt or something, no, they were, then put, North Korea what, threatened what to bomb theaters that showed the movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Put more security if Se that's you, really. You can't stop bombs. <laughs> they come from the air. Well, why would bombs come from the air? Because that's what happens. We would shoot them down. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. Okay. So they would have Remember. to like sneak and in. And we would go on all. We would go on all out war, dude. If they yeah, if they blew true. up our if they blew up our theaters, we would nuke them, and they're dead. <laughs> and they're dead. So why and would they're why gone. would they even? Why would okay? So that's out yeah, of the question. They would not attack us. Yeah. They're not going to attack us. Yeah. They're just throwing but, empty threats. Uh, yeah. You know what? You're right. I was thinking because even if they threatened to do that, then I didn't think about that. That's not possible. If they acted on, any, they acted on any of the things they said, they would it's, be Yeah, demolished. it's not possible <laughs> in the air. 
it's not possible to sneak someone in because they'd have to go through customs or whatever and go get right? into America. And if you're from North Korea, they're going to be like, hey, you're from North Korea. Got any bombs? Freaking TSA, mate. You ain't going to fly here. You ain't going to find that. But, um, you know, I just thought of something. I wonder how the TSA is. If the, I wonder if that's a thing with, like, boats. What if someone came over on a boat? Is there the same amount of security? That's a that's a way to get by. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hiding in a crate. <laughs> hiding in a crate, yeah. Hiding in a box, like Daryl. But, um... <laughs> yeah, that's my view. I think it's dumb that Sony took it down. Uh, you shouldn't listen to terrorists. Yeah, at first, uh, um, I yeah. thought it made sense because of the, uh, the threats and whatnot, and now I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, that doesn't... The threats are not possible to be done. Like, this, it's not a thing. So, yeah, yeah they should have put it out completely and totally. America, freedom of speech and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, uh, so... I know that I'm explaining this, like, after we're done talking about it. But basically what happened is that <laughs> Joe, Joe Rog- Seth Rogen and <clears throat> James Franco um, made a movie about, like, uh, basically assassinating Kim Jong Un, and he uh, and Sony pulled the movie from the theaters because they were like getting hacked by North Korea and getting all these threats and stuff. So they, um, yeah, so they pulled it. But so yeah, um, I explained it after we were done. Uh, the uh, creator of Game of Thrones released it in his theater. So <laughs> he has a theater. Yeah, George Railroad I mean, Martin. Yeah, George R R Martin. George Ray <laughs> Road Martin, mate. I didn't, I didn't really. That's <laughs> I, t- I, I took that from uh, Podcast Beyond. They say it all the time. That's George Road Martin. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I did not know he has a theater. Have you <laughs> seen the South Park episodes with, with George Ray no, Martin? No, no, no. So good. Dude, Butters is, like, obsessed. Butters keeps, yeah. like, going, I mean, I want to see all these dragons and these fights, but all I see are these soft penises. I don't understand. <laughs> Why are they showing all these penises? I, I can't take I it. And Butters, like, freaks out about all the penises. And he goes – dude, the joke is that he goes to George R. R. Martin's, Martin's house and, like, demands what's going to happen in the <laughs> ending. And he just – George R. R. Martin just goes on about penises for, like, what? the whole episode. Okay, like, they keep asking him, and he's like, hold on, let me – uh." Let me let me show you this song right, I wrote for the for the thing, and there's this song of like this chorus singing like penis. Yeah, yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, it's um, great. It's but great. Uh, here's the thing, I, I that show. Oh, I know there's a whole penis like joke <laughs> thing, uh, but literally, I don't like remember or like. I maybe there's two penises in the whole <laughs> okay. like, four season. I yeah. mean, really. What I, and then now it's a big deal, but whatever. I don't know, mate. <laughs> but it's a big um, deal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay, the interview. It's a thing that happened. Yeah. Um. So you know how you know how uh, Grand Theft Auto Five, the creators Rockstar, promised a heist, heist mode when the game released. They promised it would be with Is the separate? game. What? No, they said it would be. Okay. They promised it for when the game launched. Yeah, but now uh, it's like a, a year later. Yeah, it, it, two years. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh, two years. It's two years later. Oh. Two years since the game is launched, and they've still been like, "Heists are coming. They're coming. You just wait, little boy." I don't know why <laughs> they're talking like that, but yeah, they're <laughs> they're coming. They kept saying that, and they finally released a GTA Heist trailer, which, if I'm not correct. Did not say a date. Nothing like that. It was just like, yep, they're hey, coming. We're doing it. They're we're doing coming it. again. <laughs> Here's another announcement about how Something they're coming. Something that's already been announced, but it's not really a set. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't know. They need to release that. They're trying that. to keep people. But they were, the... Okay, Okay. I get it. I get it now, Rockstar. I get it. You're trying to get the Christmas guys. You're trying to grab up Christmas. Those Christmas people. noobs. Yep. But mm-hmm. uh, the thing is, nice. is also is that they don't want to release it because it's freaking... So much hype has been built up for it for like two years. You yeah, know? Dude, I would, That's one dude, of the reasons why I don't think Half Life Three is being developed. I'm calling that right now. I don't think it is. And if it is, yeah, it's be been scared. being developed in like different ways. They've been like exploring the Morpheus or the Oculus Rift and all this, and like mm-hmm. trying to find some way to make it like revolutionary because it's been hyped up for like ten years. <laughs> it's not gonna. 
it's people, a problem. even if it's a great game, people would be let down. Even if yeah. it's a great game. So, yeah. GTA Heist. It's a <clears throat> one day. Like, the game isn't, like, the games that are not even in existence are, like, even more hyped up than it. It kind of reminds me, uh, I know, like, Destiny got a lot of hype, but, like, it first started getting hype back in, uh, like, 2009 or something, uh, surprisingly. Back in 2009, there was a bunch of, like, that's, all, that's what that's they did. It. Yeah, they released an article, and literally it showed some fans from Mars, and it was like, choose your destiny or something. And also in Halo <laughs> 3 ODST, you can go to the terminal, and it showed the destiny symbol, and it said uh, something does something something. Uh, something destiny does pun. something something. <laughs> and then destiny pun. But, yeah. yeah, destiny pun? It was an action. Yeah, like using destiny in like a sentence. Oh, and it's also okay. The yeah, title yeah. of the game. Okay. Yeah, I see. Like, um, yeah. So destiny go to go play this. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly uh, that sentence. <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's put through the last couple of things. There's barely anything here, and we're running out of time. Uh, yeah. Ubisoft, this is actually one of the old ones. Ubisoft got leaked, of course. The new Assassin's Creed is leaked every single year, but this year it was leaked like a month after the previous one released. So that's it's ridiculous. Great. It's apparently set in like the eight. I f- you don't know this time period is correct. 1800s, Victorian England. I think that's right. Victorian England's definitely right. I'm not sure about the 1800s. Um, yeah, looks cool. I don't know. I'm so burnt out. I'm so done. Like, I'm going to get it. But gosh dang, Unity was a disappointment in many ways. But it's still all right. Unity's, so. Unity's like base mechanics and combat and everything is stellar. It's, just it's not story. though. It's freaking not compared to Black Flag. I thought they had the they thought they had the mechanics down, and then they're just like, nah, not nah, me. The only thing, okay, dude. The thing about Unity I really like is the uh, running down. Yeah, that's cool. That's the thing that, like, if they don't put that in any other Assassin's Creed game, that's going to be, like, missing out. Like, people are going to notice. Like, that that was... Honestly, that's the only thing that I really loved about Unity that is needs to be an addition to every every iteration of the same. There was a lot lot of it... The only problem... And there's a lot of, like, problems with Windows and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, The uh, whole, like, uh, open uh, buildings where you can go inside buildings was a cool idea. But, I mean... The, the stuff like that was kind of irritating when you're trying to just climb over a building oh. and you're like, oh crap, I no, dude, they deserve honor. praise for making all the insides. That's insane. Yeah, that it's it insane. was insane. But was um, nice. okay, Minecraft, Microsoft, <laughs> freaking not Minecraft, Microsoft, um, acknowledged Minecraft. that people were thinking that Tomb Raider would be a exclusive to Xbox because it's now published through microsoft and almost anything that is published by microsoft or sony is an exclusive but they acknowledge that it is a timed exclusive probably a year or two but it is so tomb raider will eventually come to the ps4 really? um yes what about pc i mean of course uh, pc is probably i don't know with the launch but um yeah. okay for pc uh last thing unless you want uh to insert this that i'm Highlighting on and putting things on the document. Unless you want to talk about that. Um, what? What? Let me look. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just a short thing. I think. Okay, you, you um, can talk about much... that at the end. Um, I'll say my Telltale yeah, yeah. thing and then I'll be done. Right. My, uh, Telltale Games is making a Minecraft game. It's called Minecraft Story Mode. And I'm freaking excited awesome. about it. And that's it. <laughs> like yeah. that's that's the news for that it's awesome but um okay and the thing i wanted to say is that i think 2015 is going to be hopefully one of the best years in gaming 2014 was amazing but yeah. it, there was a lot of broken games a lot of yeah. buggy games it could have been a lot better but it was yeah. still awesome uh, 2015 i think it will be a lot better we have order we have uh uncharted 4 and a lot of other anticipated games in the future. So, 2015, I'm, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Uncharted 4, I... It looks freaking awesome. 
I will murder someone for that game right now. <laughs> like, the freaking game of the decade. Oh, this is a quick thing. I heard it on Beyond. A developer from Naughty Dog <clears throat> says that the Drake that you see in cutscenes is exactly the same Drake that you see in game. Mm-hmm. Just gonna end it on that. Yep. Oh, uh, Eric, do you have anything random to show us today? Yeah, I, don't I know. do. Um, I had it prepared since the beginning. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. oh, dang, that's like one of the glass cokes, you know? Oh, pulling out all the stops. He waited to open it. He waited to open it until the end. Yep. GG. Podcast of the year. Oh, this is our last podcast of the year. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, no. Probably next week. Forget I said anything. Yeah. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>